look yummy. These are mopane worms, a delicacy for many in Southern Africa. Mopane worms naturally occur on mopane trees, and it is from these that they are harvested, treated, and turned into a meal. They can be eaten dry, as crunchy as potato chips, or cooked and drenched in sauce. For many years, people have been depending on these worms as a source of livelihood. However, due to climatic change and human activity, this source of livelihood is soon disappearing if nothing is done. When we're looking at the issue of mapani beans, we are actually looking at the tree where they are actually growing on, which is uh, the mapani tree. And that same tree is a tree that is a source of uh, firewood to the community, which is subject to abuse by the community. <laughs> Bakuru, <laughs> but all hope is not lost. There is a new and innovative way that seeks to solve the above challenges. This innovation is known as Mopane Worm for Improved Income Generation. It is an innovation under incubation at the Southern Africa Resilience Innovation Lab, which is funded by USAID. The Mopane Worm for Improved Income Generation Innovation was co-developed by Roosevelt Trust and what 15 Mopane Worm harvesters in Bay Bridge District, Zimbabwe under the Reprofit Challenge to diversify the local economy for resilience. The thrust of the innovation is on knowledge, skills and capacity development and on improving income generated from the harvesting and marketing of Mopane worms. Therefore, after eight months of dialogue with community members in Ward 15, we are presenting the systematic knowledge innovation for natural resources management. Our prototype is community driven. It is a market aggregator. It is multifunctional and it is hinged on knowledge services. And it is scalable and sustainable. So, Marino, why is it